Hi guys, it's Risa. How you doing? So today I'm going to teach you a very easy way to make a delicious, in my opinion, cauliflower flour casserole. Try saying that a few times. And the wonderful thing about it is it's only six smart points if you make it the way I make it. Go preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I put it on convection, so it's 25 degrees less so it would be at 325 if you want it a little bit crispier i like to have things a little crispy so uh, you can do it that way or on a regular oven no problem i'm going to tell you what ingredients you're going to need and uh, let's get started so you're going to need cauliflower um, i've already steamed it um, you want it to get really 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 soft okay and then you're gonna let it stand to get cold because if you put eggs in it, you're gonna fry it up. So I've already done that. You're gonna need a nice big onion. I like using Vidalia onions because they're sweeter. Um, you can use a regular onion, that's fine. Um, you can use a red onion, whatever you like, okay? A nice big onion. And I also put in some of these mushrooms, which I like, cremini. And basically I fried it up just in some cooking spray and it came out to about a cup of it okay so again you know you can put in as much or less if you don't like mushrooms don't add mushrooms if you like other vegetables you can add other vegetables you can make it how you like it as well this is how I make it but that's one thing about recipes you can make it how you like Okay, so some people are not big onion fans, they're not big mushroom fans, do what you want, all right? You have my permission. So, I sauteed this, I've already steamed the cauliflower. Now I used Egg Creations, um, two quarter cups, okay? So people have been asking me about these. Um, yes, they're like egg whites, you can use egg whites, Egg Creations, or two eggs, but if you don't want the points, the four extra points, there's nothing wrong with eggs, but I use two quarter cups of egg creations to lower it down. Um, I'm also using some cheese. Again, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I use three tablespoons of this Zerto Asiego. And what I love about it, it's so low for three tablespoons is two smart points, okay? Um, instead of using breadcrumbs, if you want to use breadcrumbs, I used oatmeal to lower the points again. So if you want to use breadcrumbs, you just have to account for it. A half a cup of oatmeal, just put it through your processor or you can just do it with your hand and mush it up. Um, and then that's it for smart points. Okay. For a half a cup. What I've done was. So after I made them into like just, you know, like breadcrumbs, I just added a little bit of chili powder, just a drop, a little bit of pepper. Um, again, I don't really measure a little bit of paprika, um, a drop of garlic, some Italian seasoning and a pinch of some salt. Okay. Cause you don't want anything to be bland, right? I don't, I like things that are very flavorful okay and that is it so um the other thing you're going to want to do is take your pan this is about an eight by eight if you want it thinner you want it thicker um this will be a bit a nice consistency okay like when you when you take a nice piece of it it's going to be a nice slice so um if you don't have a hand blender mixer you can also just use like a potato masher because you just want to mash it up like, like this. So I'm going to show you, you can mash it. And if you don't want to use that, you can use a hand mixer that I'm going to do and just get it all mashed up. I'm just going to do that. It takes two seconds. You can also just stick it in your Cuisinart. Or if you have a blender or a ninja, you can do that. And just 
want to do it for a few seconds. And again, it's nice and cold so the eggs won't fry in it. I'll make sure that I got all of the cauliflower out. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Here it is, okay? Just like that, just nice and mushy because you're making this delicious casserole. So, I'm gonna season it up a little bit again because I like things with flavor. So, let's add a little bit of pepper, probably about a half a teaspoon, a little bit of garlic, again, probably about a half a teaspoon. Um, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. And if there's other herbs or seasonings, one thing about cauliflower, it's so bland that you can use anything to really spice it up, okay? If there's any kind of chipotle seasoning or red pepper seasoning or anything, you can add it, okay, and make it your own. I'm gonna use a little bit of Italian seasoning because I like it. And that's it, and I'm just gonna mix it up. Just like that. Okay. Move all of this out of the way. And even, you know, I mean, this is cooked, so even if you want to taste it, you can. So I'm going to add my fried onions and mushrooms. And just mix it and I'm gonna add my egg and I'm gonna mix it again you can use two eggs if you want but for two quarters of a cup of egg creations it's zero smart points and now I'm just gonna add my oatmeal it's my secret I love oatmeal because it's less smart points and it binds it together just like you would use breadcrumbs. There's nothing wrong with breadcrumbs. You can use breadcrumbs if you want. And we've just mixed it up. That's it. Super easy. You know me, I like things that are super easy and super delicious. So, I'm gonna just put this in. Make sure it's all mixed together, okay? Now, if you want to add the cheese right in it, you can. I've decided to put it on top. I've had it with cheese or without cheese. It's not necessary if you want to just not have it in there and have less points. But honestly, for this whole casserole for six smart points, it's pretty, pretty good. So I've just put it in the pan. Here it is. You can see that it's about three quarters of the pan and pat it down and now I'm going to just sprinkle my cheese on top and I think it's going to be super delicious well I know it will be and you can use whatever cheese you like you can find another fat-free cheese you can use mozzarella you can use parmesan you can use anything Okay, um, and you can use other things. You could be really creative. If you wanted to add some protein to it, um, you could add some meat to it. You could add some um, pepperoni. You could add some bacon. Um, it's endless. That's the wonderful thing about recipes. You can do what you want to it. Okay, even some bacon crumbles on top. How delicious would that be? I should have thought of that before. Anyways. I hope you love this recipe. Remember, all my recipes are written underneath each video, okay? Press the little arrow button and you can write them all out as well or do a slide shot on your camera, okay? So, hope you love this video and you come visit me at Reese's Recipes and Weight Watchers Tip. Um, don't forget, bake it. I almost forgot. Bake it for one hour, okay? and let it sit for a little bit and then cut into it and tell me if you like it. I hope you like it. So take care. Bye for now. Love you guys.